Hi, this is Chef Inspire. I'm here today to talk to you about the secret of self-control. Now, self-control is a word that gives you the sense of someone or somebody is in control. Now, going in through this new year, the, two, the year of 2017, everybody has already made these New Year's resolutions, these resolutions to do something or to be something or to not do something that they did last year. So what happens is when we make these resolutions, usually by the 15th of the month of January, most of those, 90% of those people who made resolutions have already broken them. Why? Because they're doing it in the wrong way. They're using certain techniques that do not work. I'm going to give you five. Five techniques that work to help you to keep your New Year's resolutions, to help you to understand and to overcome any addiction, addictive type behavior that you have. And how are you going to do it? These five steps. Step number one. Instead of holding on to control, give up control. That's right. Give up control. Because what you resist will persist. What you resist will persist. The thing that you are resisting will become bigger. And it will become more powerful. Why? Because you are fighting against it and it is fighting against you. You don't fight fire with fire. You fight fire with water. All right. You don't fight hate with hate. You fight hate with love. So when you start to give up your control, what happens is you acknowledge that that thing exists. But it's not going to pull me. To act the way it wants me to act, because when you act, when someone um, causes you to be angry, when you don't want to be angry, it has taken that person has taken control over you. If that person has caused you to to react in a way that is negative or in a way that is going to put you in a position where you can be hurt or hurt yourself, that person has taken control of you. It's the same way. What you resist will persist. So number one, give up control. Number two, watch the craving or the thing that has been in your life that you're trying to get rid of Watch it like it is someone walking into the room. That's right. Watch it like it's something walking into the room. Here it is coming into the room, making its way around, trying to get you to do the thing that you know is wrong. But it is coming in. It walks in closer and it gets it gets right aside of you and it starts to speak to you in your ear. Mm, that looks good. Why don't you take a bite? Watch it. Don't react to it. Don't get negative. Don't resist. Just watch. Number three. Actually, when that thing is coming in, when that thing actually enters into the room, what I want you to do is feel the feelings of what's making you do that. Now, there is something that's causing you to feel this way. Why? Because anytime something is telling you to do something that you know is not good for you, it has to be something that's trying to control you. Most likely your ego. Now the ego is a part of who we are that always wants control. It wants to dominate you. It wants to control you. It wants to lead you around and it wants to take precedence in your life. But how do you control the ego? You do not fight it. When you fight the ego, the ego will win. Why? Because it's stronger. It's stronger than you. And it's been existing from the beginning. You don't fight the ego. What you do is understand what's going on. Try to feel the feelings of what you're experiencing at that moment. Am I tired? Am I feeling sad? Am I feeling stressed? What is triggering this behavior that I know is wrong. What is trying to make me do this thing? 
point number four. Look at that ego or that craving like it's a little spoiled kid. It's a little spoiled kid who comes into the room. He wants cookies before he wants his meal. He wants what he wants and he's going to make noise. He's going to cry. He's going to scream. He's going to yell. He's going to do all kinds of stuff. He's going to throw things, get on the floor, throw temper tantrums. He's going to do whatever it takes to get your attention so that you can acknowledge and not only acknowledge, but give in to his ploys. That's how the ego is. He wants to control. So how does he control? By manipulation. So you look at that ego as it is a little kid trying to manipulate you, trying to get his way. Try, give me the cookie. I don't want to eat. I don't want the vegetables. I want the cookie. Give me the cookie. Give me the cookie. Give me the cookie. And this is the way you have to look at it as it is a little spoiled kid. Number five, take away the power. That's right. Take away the power from the little kid. All right. The little kid, his only power is to annoy you and to make you feel like you're powerless. And he will scream and yell and do everything that he can do to get his way. When you give in, you have allowed him to win. When you give in to that craving, you have allowed the craving to win. You have listened to that little kid and you've given him the cookie before you give him his meal. You have the power. Look at the little kid. Acknowledge that he's there. Feel what feelings that are coming, that are happening in your body, that are making you want to do something that you're not supposed to do. Look at that little spoiled brat and say no. It's not happening. You are not getting what you want. I'm not fighting him. I'm not resisting him. I'm acknowledging and I'm making a decision. When you learn to look at self-control in this way, in this manner, you will always succeed. Let me give you those steps again. Number one, give up control. What you resist will persist. Number two, watch the craving. Watch the thing that's trying to control you. Acknowledge that it's there. Acknowledge it walking around the room, trying to get into your ear, talking to you, trying to tell you what to do. Acknowledge it. Look at it. But don't resist it. Number three, feel the feelings. What is really going on? Am I tired? Am I hungry? Am I, am I uh, stressed? Am I feeling lonely? What is going on to make me want to do something to hurt myself? And once you figure that out, then you will deal with that. You don't deal with it. You don't deal with, with, the, with the craving. The craving is going to be there and the craving is going to push you. But acknowledge what is the true culprit. What is really going on? What is really pushing you? Number five. I'm sorry, number four, look at the, the craving or the thing that's trying to push you as a little spoiled brat, little kid that's trying to get his way. And number five, take away the little kid's power. Don't give him any power. Don't fight him. Ignore him. Because guess, when you ignore that little kid, after a while, what happens is he just looks at you, stomps his feet and goes out of the room. But who, who, who have won? You won. Why? Because you've not taken on a posture of resistance. You've taken on a posture of surrender. And when you surrender and acknowledge and look at that thing for what it is and still make a rational decision in the midst of all of the yelling and the screaming, all of the kicking and the fighting, you will win. You will always win. This is Chef Inspire. The secret of self-control is surrender. You get it? You got it? Good. Have a blessed day. And guess what, guys? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it.